Hello everyone, my name is Akesh Kopta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. In this presentation, I will share with you the new and improved navigation of page section in design mode within RNSP Designer. To begin with, let's actually open an RNSP Designer product and then we can open one of the predefined or an, a recent application. Within RSP Designer, users can easily make uh, web applications and each page of a web application consists of various different sections. So let's basically quickly run an application just to review which sections we're talking about. As you can see, this is a very simple application of customers and invoices we build using RSP Designer out of the box, no customizations. So when we go in and say we want to look at a list of customers. So we have a header section at the top, we have the menus here, then we have the title, we have some actions, and then we have some filters, some search area, then the fields, and then depending on, we have a footer, and of course the pager, and navigation, and so on. So this is basically what we call as a show table page, or like a table page, where we are displaying more than one record. And as you can see, there are already seven or eight different sections of the page we talked about. Then we talk about uh, some specialized pages like uh, and adding an invoice page, which also resembles what we were looking in the last example that where we have the headers menu. But now we have different sections of the multiple entities. As you can see, we have a section of invoice header where we have customers, invoice status, and so on. And that's why in that header, you don't have any actions and filters, but then you have invoice lines where you have some actions where you can basically click a new row and so on. Not to mention, since it's an ad page, you have your page level buttons and at the end, a footer. So based on the type of a page, you will have different sections of the page. So while you are in a design mode, working with an application and you, you need to navigate what RSP has done is rather than giving you detailed name of the pages, they basically have la labeled them more as uh, functional names. So this way, a page always inherits from a master page. So as soon as you hover upon a section, the visual clue also shows you the section you're looking at. So this way it can give you a visual identification as well as it makes it easy for people to understand what they're looking at because their names are more generic. So from a master page perspective, that's where header footer are coming. From your one master page, you have basically one control. We call it a table control. That was basically when we were looking at the list of the customers. And within that uh, page, you have, or within the control, you have its header. Within the header, you have a title and two parts of action which are grouped together by action and then you have the filter area and then the panels with the fields in it on the same token if i open up my invoice and look at the add invoice area now if you notice that i have same thing same master page same page area kind of thing but now i have two different controls one is the invoice record control that is where we were trying to do the invoice uh, you know the customer order date and so on and then it has a separate section by the name invoice lines and then with and then at the bottom it has its own page button so as you can see depending on the type of the page the structure of the page consists of one or more controls and within each control what's available depends on the type of the control so now if i want to go to the header area of my invoice header I can easily quick go click on it, go there, and I have one field which I can look at the properties, and I know it basically says add invoice. If I want to go to the title of the next area, I can I know the next area is my invoice line, and where I have an action one panel, and I have the header. If I go to the header, as you can see here, there's no title because that's what we set the settings as. But if there was a title, we could have easily navigated it to the area and altered it. If you want to jump to the pages, the buttons, you can easily go to the buttons and you will see all your buttons. So looking at this uh, new navigation with a visual clue, it makes it easy for people to 
be able to jump to the right section very quickly without getting lost in the names of the sections which has the attachment of their control name so it became it basically becomes a quite overwhelming sometimes especially for the new users so this new change of the page section with visual clues is a very warm welcome to this feature hope you enjoyed this feature and uh, keep looking for more videos and of course folks if you need any kind of uh, you know assistance do not forget to visit iron speed forum thanks for watching